she arrives. It is the same shark I swam with yesterday. I can easily identify her from the scars on her fins. Amazingly, she is still accompanied by the bright yellow pilot fish riding her pressure wave. She seems to enjoy my company, circling slowly around me. With no aggressive body language. She comes back to me. I reach out and touch her. Again, no aggressive behaviour. She returns again. I touch her again. She swims away. But soon she comes back. The shark takes me down the reef into deeper water. For a minute, I forget I'm breathing a gas mixture, nitrox. The high partial pressure of oxygen can easily kill me in the deeper water. I let go just in time. This time, she's content to cruise in the shallow water. Breathing nitrox at this depth is quite safe. I'm fully aware she can flick me off, turn in her own length and deliver a lethal bite. But each time I let go, she returns. Unlike fish with scales, her skin is made up of countless tiny teeth. It is easy to grip the sandpaper rough dorsal fin. She pulls me through the water with ease. Together, we glide over the coral. Again and again, she carries me on her back. For thousands of years, Polynesians passed down stories of shark riders and the power of totemism, the sharing of one's soul with the creatures of the wilderness.
I am a shark rider, riding on the back of a large oceanic shark. Magnificent predators of the deep that desperately need our protection.